I think my parents used to bless me. You know, when you're trying all these flavors of Gatorade and you're over all these Gatorade flavors and then you finally find the fucking Riptide Rush and you're like, what? This Gatorade's fucking sick. All right, all right, all right. Riptide Rush is the best game. The dream that I just had of me <laughs> turning into a bat and flying away makes sense. This is your inspiration board? It is my inspiration board and I need to change it. This is like a... A squishy face, like, it's a doll. Somebody made that. It's, it's... He had one of those visualization boards before it was cool. I, so now we got a little bit of a taste of who this uh, neck face guy is, right? Been drawn like this since I can remember. Like, uh, like my mom has showed me, like, old-ass drawings from when I was a little kid, and it's the same thing. It's just, like, the technique is not all there. Like, uh... Same thing like monsters, heads getting cut off, fucking cut off limbs and shit, hanging babies, like the same shit that you would see, like if you saw a, a toddler drawing that shit, you'd be like, whoa, the kid's fucked up. <laughs> but so yeah, I've been drawing the same shit. It wasn't like, oh, I'm gonna start drawing all these devils and shit now. Like I've been drawing all this shit since I was a little kid, like, except I went from color pencils to like ink. Yeah. <laughs> I can't even remember what it was. Probably some like hanging babies and some people getting their heads cut off, whatever. My mom's like, she'll call me up. She'll be like, you drew that? I'm like, yep. She's like, you're crazy. You know, nothing like, <laughs> yeah. nothing like, oh, something's wrong with you. I gotta go get you fucking some therapy or some shit. It's just been like, all like, she sees the smile on my face and she's like, let him do whatever he wants. That's tight. Dude, I was dirty too, but I wasn't licking my face. Uh, we used to call him bring around the lip. Neck face. Um, good. Oh, um, the break check podcast. Eat your kids, is good. Like that timeout shit don't work. Like if my mom told me to go sit somewhere and I'm on timeout for five minutes, I'd be like, <laughs> yeah, fucking right. I ain't going to do that shit. But yeah, I definitely got my ass beat. So beat your kids. And, and uh, I mean, if I didn't get my ass beat, I don't know. I'd probably be a different dude. What's like the worst time you ever got your ass beat by your parents? Oh, I got hit with a high heel in the ribs. It broke skin. <laughs> That was like the only thing my mom could grab. And before the longest time, I used to be like, man, fuck that. Fuck my mom, man. She just always hitting me. Like, I'm always the one getting hit. Like, all this shit out of, out of fucking uh, four brothers. Like, I was... Dayton and Papa Bear came up with that quick. The head, shoulders, knees, and toes. <laughs> Good call. Thank you. I mean, it's obvious who the fuck got their ass kicked out of the two of these. Imagine me as a little kid. You can't put me on timeout. Yeah. Like, you gotta hit my ass with something. Me on the other hand, I have like vegetarian <laughs> parents and I was an only child. Yeah. So they had this shit called infant massage. This is a true story. So if I was bad, instead of hitting me or even yelling at me, this happened until I was seven years old. They'd come at me from both angles and start like massaging me on both sides. Like my mom would like go for the head and my dad would go for the hands and so I would just pass out. What? So they were training me from like my infancy. That if like if I was bad, it would just start deep tissue massaging like different parts of my body. It's crazy, right? So I'd be seven and I'd be having a panic attack, you know, freaking out, being like, I don't wanna go home from school today, whatever. And my dad would just come up and start like put his hands like on my forehead and start touching my shit. And my mom would start rubbing my arms from behind and I would just curb out. And uh so I guess we have a pretty different perspective on that. Maybe Damn, like, that's why you're kids. tweaked, huh? That's probably why I'm tweaked. <laughs> you're like tweaked on the low. Yeah. You're like, kind of like, you're ready to burst. Yeah. <laughs> Me, I'm bursting out onto this. This is A versus B conversation. He was like, yeah, when I got out of line, I, they, my parents used to bless me. That was the white version. The, uh, I'm gonna say Latino Puerto Rican version was, uh, I got punched and they threw shoes at me. <laughs> Do you think you would have been different if your parents did infant massage instead of being Hell dead? yeah, dude. I'd be a straight serial killer. <laughs> For real. <laughs> I'd be a straight serial killer. For real. <laughs> That's his fucking perspective on it. The guy that got hit as a kid was like, dude, my parents just rubbed me down every time I was insubordinate. I'd be a, way to, I'd be a serial killer, bro. Like... Yeah. <laughs> it's just you 
don't want to hit your kid. It's bad luck. It's bad luck. You're 20 years old. <laughs> you can't be hitting them. You're too young. Two years? Sure. 20 years? Bad call. Bad call. Can't be doing that. Let the older one hit the younger one. If I got infant massage, I'd be fucking, I'd be pissed off at people. I'd see like a, a spa place on the street and just probably lose it and start fucking shooting people up. To be fair, you can't massage yeah, your kids either. You made it out of that one. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> or for now. Dude, do you think I should be my own kids or should I massage them? Too? We'll see. Try both out. Beat them. Massage, beat them, you know? Just hit, yeah. hit them and massage them. There's like. Yeah, definitely. Give them a little I'll try that one. My favorite quote of yours is, gentrification means more hoes. Oh, yeah, man. That's a new one. That's a new one. Because I, I just learned how to spell gentrification. That is pretty fucking obvious. It's definitely California. All right, back to the spice piece. It is my inspiration board, and I need to change it. This is like a, a squishy face, like... It's a doll. Somebody made that. It's, it's Eddie from Iron Maiden. He's actually coming out of the shirt. That's like not a graphic. That's him coming out of the shirt. This girl gave me a whole bag of stuff for my birthday, like a bunch of random stuff for my house, and this guy was in there. That's where that guy came from. You know, my parents didn't care about me watching like a rated R movie or something, you know? So I was watching all this crazy shit like Freddy Krueger and Nightmare on Elm Street and, you know, Jason and all that stuff, like, at a young age, and it's just ben, like, put your tongue really in that like a, a comic Clearly. relief. Clearly. <laughs> if I see an old lady fall down on the street, it may not be violent, but she fell down on the street, of course I'm going to laugh, you know? Oh yeah, this is a new style, like, water, using watercolors, you know, trying to take, like, the beautiful watercolors. That I was like, oh, this is so pretty watercolors, like I'll paint in a rainforest, and then I get like like Picasso, but like retard style. Get the watercolors, uh, and then I just fuck it up. Style. <laughs> I just mess it up and make this fucked up guy here taking your watercolor and creating a mess out of it. She went to art school for a while. Yeah, I went to art school for two years and realized that it sucked dick. Uh, anyways, <laughs> I thought magazines were dead. I thought we weren't doing those anymore. Apparently, I'm retarded. You know, Whole Foods, Whole Foods brings more chicks. So, <laughs> but it's it sucks to say, but it's true. Gentrification needs more hoes. Yeah. Would you rather have it like how it was or, or now with all the hoes? Shit, man, that's a double-edged sword right there, because I'd rather have it how it was. It sucks. Gentrification sucks when people are getting pushed out and fucking, like, their shit's turning into a fucking yoga mat studio or whatever the fuck. But there's definitely going to be more chicks. 